unang una guys ah, I mean I don't know maybe I'll run contrary to what what Marvin always teaches no ang investments hindi naman nilagay yan para maging mayamang mayaman ka eh di ba the day, ikaw ang nagpapayaman sa sarili mo it's what you do your ability your greatest asset is yourself Kung ikaw naman ang hihiram, may humility issue din yan eh. Kasi di ba parang itindihin mo rin naman na di ba na pinaghirapan ng tao yung pera na yun. Na may paggagamitan din naman siya. Siya din naman magkakaroon ng emergency. So, just be careful. Okay. Humility, lumapit ka. Uh, and make sure that you try as best na magbayad ka. By the time we're recording this, uh, the PSEI is at 6,500. So, first question is this. At the market at 6,500, what are you doing right now as an investor who has been in the markets for 30 plus years already? Magsaysay yata, you're investing at Chocolate. Basta namatay na ibang presidente. Oh, anyway, so ano ginagaho ngayon? Siyempre, alam mo yun, umaasa pa din. <laughs> diba? <laughs> Yung index natin na mahilig magpaasa, umaasa pa din. Hopefully, no, da talagang we see some recovery. But siguro at this point in time, yun, constant pa rin. Position, uh, you know, I've been a big fan of cost averaging. Only time will tell if that strategy was a wise one or not. So investment, the stock market, that's not my life. Eh. I mean, that's just a means for me to put money so that, you know, while, you know, b- battling inflation, make sure. But at the end of the day, I still focus on what I can do and what I can control. Diba? The work that I do, the businesses that I run. Um, ability to earn income. Doon ako naka-focus. The stock market, I cannot focus on that. I cannot control that. But I cannot take advantage. So, uh, ngayon at the market na ambivalent, no? Di ba? Parang we haven't really seen any growth in the last three or four years. Pero, I still believe actually, that... Actually, context nga, the market hit 9,000, 8,900 ng 2018, January. So, it's been like five years and we haven't really breached that. Uh, breached that yet. So, parang it's been, it's been a long time. One taon na pala. Well, Give or take, we had to remove two years out of pandemic from that. No, it's still there. It's still it's still valuable. I still see value, intrinsic value. So in the market, I still believe that the market can go up to eight and ten, nine thousand. It's just an issue of when, de mm-hmm. ba? So and ang point mo, ano ba options mo? I mean, now although interest rates are high now, but now what can I do? But money not invested is money going to be spent anyway. So you might as well position it there. So again, um, as to how to do it. Diba ako, I believe in cost averaging. That's why in a crazy market, it's it's pretty much working for me. I bought some stuff in 2020 after the crash. So, yun, medyo maganda yung pasok ko doon. People always ask me kung makainat kami ni Marvin, hindi po totoo yun. Malaki po tanda ko. Kino, kino dapat mainsulto ako, ikaw, dun sa tanong ngayon. <laughs> <laughs> diba, yung, yung, yung apo ko is older than anak ni Marvin. Oh, like, lakot na ako from that perspective, di ba? So, again, so, yeah, but, pero, syempre, di ba, I'm still preparing for retirement, I'm still, you know, parang, I'm still looking for that, but, syempre, I have to diversify a portfolio, I have to create a diversified portfolio also, di ba? Parang, your strategies also change, eh. While I still do equities and equity markets, um, hindi lang naman yun ang nilalagyan ko. So, you know, what is really important is to build diversified portfolio with multiple assets. So, multi-assets talaga dapat ang approach, eh. Mm-hmm. And equity has been part of it and will always be part of it. And what's interesting is you're 50 plus years old already and then may assets na that's you're earning a lot also. What if people who are watching this they're at their 20s also and then parang the common notion is nagiging gateway siya na mag-invest ako sa stock market and it will it will eventually do well and then it's gonna help me also and my portfolio. Pero what what how do you address people who are in their 20s and 30s and then they've invested pero parang they haven't seen the results also. Unang-una, guys, ah, I mean, I don't know, maybe I'll run contrary to what what Marvin always teaches. No, Ang investments, hindi naman nilagay yan para maging mayamang mayaman ka. Eh. Diba? At the end of the day, ikaw ang nagpapayaman sa sarili mo. It's what you do. Your ability, your greatest asset is yourself. Your greatest income earner is yourself. So it's really what you do that's better. Um, Investment instruments, like the stock market or whatever, are just there to parang to safeguard and to grow a little bit what you set aside. So, very important yan. So, when you're in your 20s, my tip is, yes, invest in the stock market. Uh, invest wherever. It's a good idea. You're young and everything. Rather than spend the money, it's great. 
But I'd rather you really focus on yourself, competency building, learning, doing things to improve your career, uh, trying out businesses. That might be a better route. And then the money that you earn from those, you set aside. No, you put some in the stock market or a mutual fund. Nasa 20s ka, swell the mo 2025. Is that enough right now, 2023? Na yeah. uh, parang needs, wants, and then enough also to save invest. Pwede yan. Kunyari, yung mga anak ko, kasi sa kanila, kasi sa akin nakakarga lahat ng gastos nila, no? So, so tayo ba yun? Nakakarga, sa, nakakarga sa'yo? Siyempre, iba mga sudyante pa, di ba? Iba mga ano. So, when, when my kids were working na, yung single pa sila, they were, they were working, of course, I provide for the food, you know, they don't pay rent, they don't pay anything in the house. So, whatever they earn is theirs. Kaya rin naman nakaipon sila. So, kala ko, kala ko kinu- kinukuha naman pa sila ng mga Netflix. Eh, di, di, parang, I, I, I was thinking about that, no? Pero I just realized, basta sabi ko sa mga anak ko, okay, you know, in the house, I've seen your dad, you still live in my room, roof, I provide for you. Pero, mag-ipon kayo. And true enough, nakaipon din naman sila. No? Because mm-hmm. what I've done, you know, in fact, you know, I got into the coffee business also. Because sa bahay, you know, we have good coffee, they prepare their coffee para they don't spend, they go to work with their own, you know, they bring, so that nakaipon sila. So, yeah, you know, that's, that's pretty much how I was able to raise them. Eh. Pero paano yun? Yung not everyone is may tatay na Randall Chonks na sobrang yaman na parang ah, uh, yeah. challenge na yeah. yan. So, so doon pa rin tayo corny, corny sa corny pa ang gan but you really have to learn how to adjust. no Live within your means, one. And second, ano pa pwede mong gawin para magkaroon ka ng additional income. Diba? I mean, sa tanda kong to, diba, sumaside hassle pa rin ako. Diba? Hindi lang po si Marvin na magaling mag-side hassle, ako din. Diba? So, these side hassles nga, diba? parang masaya din kasi dami mo nagagawang ibang bagay. Eh. So, kasi guys ha, ang real way for you to be able to build a solid, secured financial future is to learn how to have one, two, three sources of income. Don't worry kung malaki o maliit. Basta wag kang, meron kang main line. Let's say may trabaho ka, may trabaho ka. So yan yung main line mo. Then you can add on other things. You learn those things that can evolve into your own business later on. Or, you know, this, these things also add up. So ako naman kasi, Marvin, di ba? Marami naman ako ibang ginagawa eh. So, Noong una, kasi lahat ng ginagawa ko related to finance. Then later on, hindi naman kailangan lahat related to finance. Diba? Basta, I know, I know I can do that. So, some of them I make money, some I don't know. Diba? Yung bako tinari yung negosyo ngayon, parang hindi ko alam kung okay, okay, pero okay na rin. You said that you're cost averaging, pero siguro, I'll, I'll bundle these two questions na lang na magkasama. Would you advise that also for other people that they also uh, do, do they peso cost also right now? And then, connected to that also, how do you think this will play out for the market for the next three years? Uh, are you optimistic on, sabi mo kanina sa start, uh, umaasa ka, pero bukod sa umaasa, do, do you think it's realistic that you were gonna see uh, growth in the market for the next three years or are we just gonna stay flat? Marvin, hindi lang ako umaasa, nagpe-pray din ako. <laughs> <laughs> Para hindi sila na-encourage, no? Okay. <laughs> diba? You know, every time... Kala ko sasabihin mo, masakot ako nila, ibang mo sinasabi. Kala ko sasabihin mo, ano? Kasi, 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 I just wanted to this statement. If everything else fail, prayer works, de ba? Biro lang guys ah. So, sa example de ba? I mean, at the end of the day, uh, I guess I'm a big fan of cost averaging because it may not be the most efficient way, but it's a functional way for me. Again, iba ibang iba ibang tao, iba ibang strategy magwork. Eh. I mean, what works for Marvin may not work for me. I mean, there's an age difference, there's preferences differences for us. The reason why I'm a, a fan of cost averaging because I look at it more as a functional. Kasi, again, money is behavioral. Iba-iba rin. Iba si Marvin, iba ako. Sobrang, Marvin, in, in all these years, is probably one of the most financially disciplined person I know. I mean, I seen like, wala na siyang social life and everything. Pero, uh, sobrang, sobrang disciplined. Ako, hindi ako ganun ka-disciplined eh. Di ba? I mean, I like to enjoy. Parang ganun. So, so sa akin, nag-work siya. Kasi, cost averaging, automatically, I set aside money. If I don't set that aside money, I might end up buying a new watch or, or you know, upgrading my car or, or doing something. So money not invested is money spent. O ngayon, parang put up my another cafe. Parang gano'n. So, so at least it kind of disciplines me to it. Now, the market will not stay this level forever. There's We have to understand, though, coming up from the pandemic, we're resetting many things. Economies are changing. 
'di ba? I mean, we have an inflation problem, supply chain. I mean, and dami to dikit-dikit to. So definitely the market's going to be affected. Economics from an economic perspective, things will normalize. Things will go back to certain level of growth. We will find and when we have new industries, new ano, but it will begin to grow. I mean, hindi yan pwedeng hindi mag-grow, mag-grow yan. Inflations will not continue to rise uh, like this. It, at one point in time, it's going to slow down. So then, then that's a see. That's a time you will see a lot of growth. So, kung nakaposition ka sa market, kasi hindi naman ako. Well, well, some people feel that they can time the market, and you know, sa tanda ko na sa industry, a lot of people say who I have a lot of people who claim they can and time the market. In reality, they don't. So, de ba parang ang laki ng risk na nagrecover the market wala ka jan. So, so at least ganon lang. So the cost averaging helps me. Now I modify my cost averaging market. Like, and ito particularly nangyari ito noong 2020, no? Uh, cost averaging, pero diretso pa rin naman. The, the market, what, hit 4,000? 4,000 something like that. Remember that? Nag-39 like something pa, di ba? So, may pera kang extra, and then ako, very ano naman. Of course, may risk yun, di ba? At that time, nakatakot pa rin. So, nagdagdag ako ng pera. I bought some stocks also. So, yes, nag-cost averaging ako, but I also take advantage of, you know, major blips in the market. So, yun yung ginawa ko. Now, I haven't done that kasi naka-cost average ako. Uh, unless siguro bumagsak yung market to 5.8, 5.5, I might do that. At this point in time, I have better ways of putting money now where I can, you know, have a better control. And yet, I continue that. So, yung cost average ko, maliit amount yun, dire-direction yun, it doesn't stop. Music